A function is a relation in which each first element, called the domain, corresponds to exactly one second element in the range. Okay, sure. Why don't we take a relation, if you will. We're relating the first component with the second component in these ordered pairs, if you will. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one relation, just a set of ordered pairs, sure, where our first element is our domain and our second element is our range. It's a correspondent relationship. Sure, uh, your function or this relation is going to take one, two, two. It's going to take three, two, four. It's going to take five, two, six. Yeah, if we were gonna go and we we're gonna draw that relation. Yeah, map it, plot those points. This is my function or my relation, R. It has first elements, X's. It has second elements, Y's. Sure. When x is 1, these are in the form x comma y. We're taking them as our standard points. When x is 1, y is 2, and that's my first dot. Sure. When x is 3, y is 4, so there's 1, here's 2, here's 3. That's a, not 1, not 2, not 3 but four. Okay, and let's do more. Let's just uh, put that last point on there. Uh, five, six, sure. So what did we do? We plotted that relation. Andale. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's get another relation. Hmm, what should we uh, use? Hmm, you, let's use you. Alright, alright, uh, one, two, one, three, and one, two, four. If we were going to plot this relation, it's just a set of ordered pairs. If we were going to plot this relation, do it in black right here, this is relation U. If we were going to plot U, one would relate to both two and three, and two would relate to four. Alright, so what are we doing? We are putting in our x values, we are getting out our y values. Let's do um, one more, one more, one more. N, sure, N, M, N. <sighs> sure, let's run with this. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe we had something like one goes to three and two goes to three and Three goes to three. Okay, let's take a look at that relation. What do we do? We take it on our own, um, 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 yeah. Check and see whether or not the dang thing is a function. But if we were gonna plot our, if we were gonna plot our n relation, we'll put it here in blue, n. It says one goes to three, and two goes to three, and three goes to? Three? Sure. So we plotted those three points. These are relations. Awesome. Now let's go back to that definition. A function is a relation in which each first element corresponds to exactly one second element. The first elements are called your domains. The second elements are called your ranges. Let's list the domain and range for our relation R. The domain a lot of books will abbreviated DOM, the domain of R is going to be the set of all of its first elements. So here's the first element, one. When I say first, I'm saying X's, three and five. All right. Um, let's take a look at that range. The range of R. 
I'm abbreviating it RAN for range. The range of R is a set of all second elements. Each one of these um, points has a first component and a second component. The second component is called the range or codomain. Two, five, not five, y. That's the first element for our third point. Three, and not three, y. Because that's the first element of my second component. Four, and six. What are we doing here? Here we're making a, a mapping. We're trying to see whether or not the first element corresponds to exactly one second element. This one goes to two. This three goes to four. And this five goes to six. This is a function. Why? Because each first element goes to exactly one second element. It's a function. Cruising on, cruising on, cruising on. Let's map U, the domain of U. That's the set of all first elements. One is in there. One is in there. That brings up something. Do we repeat elements in a set? No, we do not. At least not in these domain and range maps. So my next first element is two. So the only first elements I have are one and two. Now let's list our second elements. List our second elements. Our second elements are two, three, and four. What do we call the list of all the second elements? Yeah, that's right, the range. Okay, let's make our map. We see in this first correspondence, one goes to two, one goes to two, also one goes to three, one goes to three, and two goes to four, two goes to four, Oh boy, is this thing a function? Does each first element have exactly one second element? One has more than one second element. This is not a function. You are not a function. Yeah, let's check and see whether or not n is a function whether or not n is a function. A function is a relation whose first component corresponds to exactly one second component. Let's go ahead and list the range of n. Yeah, let's list it up on you. Let's list the second element here. Sure. Um, looks like I got three and three and three, and I see that I don't go, and I don't um, repeat my elements in my set. Let's look at my domain. The domain again. Let's list all the first elements. Let's say I have a one, a two, and a three. A one, a two, and a three. So you see one corresponds to three. That's what we have in our first relationship. Two corresponds to three. That's what we have in our second correspondence. And three goes to three. Yeah, that goes, that, that, that's the third one. So let's discuss. Is that or is that not a function? This one has exactly one second element. Bueno. This one has exactly one second element. Goods. This one has exactly one second element. Each one of those first element corresponds to exactly one second element, so it is a function. Okay, so let's see how we're going to remember this. Yeah. Um, um, you want to be monogamous in the domain? What? Each domain element needs to only have one second element? Okay, okay. Not a function. I once heard a colleague once relate these to um, guys and girls. Um, he called the range, the guy, and the domain, the girl. And he said, he got in trouble for this by the way. And these videos are not affiliated with any school whatsoever. I'm not going to finish it, but it's something about um, the relationship.